Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Ospro Interviews. My name is Pandis, and for those of you who don't know me, I'm the one who runs this series. Today will actually be a very special video featuring a very special player, and that player is none other than the notorious Freddy Benson. Before we get straight on into it, I'd like to give a special thanks to Hydra for editing today's video. Other than that, I don't really have anything else to say, so let's get into the video. Hello everyone, so today we're going to be joined by Freddy Benson, so why don't you introduce yourself? Um, I'm Freddy Benson, I play Osu, my real name is Zach, I'm 17, I'm from Washington State, and that's like it I guess. <laughs> Very simple, straightforward. Yeah. How did you find Osu? Um, one of my friends in like middle school just showed me a video of the game one day and I downloaded it on my iPad and I started playing it on my iPad first before I actually got the real game on PC. Like Osu Droid? Yeah. Or like, no, it was the Apple version. Oh, yeah. Wait, so when, it's like... When was that? What? When was that? <laughs> um, 2015-ish. Long time ago. R like, yeah. What did you do before <sighs> playing Osu? Um... Not really that much. I didn't have a PC or anything around the time my friend introduced me to it, so I just played a lot of games on Xbox and stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. When did you get a PC? Like, around when I started playing, but like, it was a little after I started playing, because when I first made my account, I played on my friend's PC a couple times, but like, a month or a couple weeks after I made my account, I got my own, so. Right. That's cool. Um, when you're not playing Osu, then, what do you usually do? Uh, outside of Osu, I don't usually do too much, but if I'm playing another game, it's either, like, Minecraft <laughs> on Hypixel, or, like, some random game on Steam someone asks me to play. Minecraft is the best game, that's all I have to say. <laughs> I know, dude. So, getting a little bit more into the Osu career related um, questions. When did you start playing Osu? Which you kind of already answered, but like... I think the month was October 2015. Like, mm -hmm. like October 30th, I think. So somewhere around there, yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So, yeah, it was a pretty long time ago, to be fair. That's like, what, four years ago? Yeah. It's crazy. Uh, I know, man. What or who were some of your earlier inspirations playing Osu? When I started off, I was like the generic Cookie Z fanboy like everybody else. But like, mm -hmm. as I learned more about the game, probably some of my favorite players in the earlier times were like Raphis and Zerba, which is probably why I play DT a lot more than anything now. Because mm -hmm. their plays just looked so cool to me back then. So what was like the DT that captivated you? Yeah. And then ever since then you've just been <laughs> hooked on? Yeah, I know. Um, did you always take Osu seriously then? or And would you say that you take it serious now? Um, Around first couple months of playing to probably maybe even like the first whole year, I didn't know like much to anything about the ranking system so like the first year was just kind of me playing whatever downloading funny songs but like after that i figured out what like the number next to my username meant and i was like oh there's a ranking system so then i like you know mm -hmm. went from there never since forming my way up the <laughs> yeah. rankings you know that's the way to do it <laughs> um what are some of the things that motivate you to keep playing the game that's a hard one. Uh, hmm. I guess it's like I have a little thing in my head where it's like it just makes me feel good when I'm playing better. So it's like I need to play better to like feel good about myself. And like when I'm playing bad, I want to get make myself better. I don't know. <laughs> That's the so it's like a self improvement smart. thing. Yeah. That's actually pretty neat, honestly. Yeah. Um. Why do you play Osu then? Is it because of your motivations? Like, what's enjoyable about it? And if nothing, then how come you play it? 
for the f like the second and third year it was definitely about like ranking up and stuff as like lame as that is but like now it's like i kind of just want to get better as a player and like hopefully finally get people to stop labeling me as like the one trick dt guy in the top five you know because <laughs> well, like that's really painful something that i've always thought about is uh i mean they label you as that but then again you're the only you're one of the only players in the entire world who can you know play at that level so i think that's something i know that can motivate you to i mean it's, it's not like they label everybody that because you know it's, yeah you're you're the person who can do that it's kind of mm -hmm. you know it's 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 a way of motivation yeah um if you can remember it which it was probably recently and i'm sure most people know but for some of the people who are relatively new to seeing you on the os community what was your peak rank and what are you at right rank now? rank one <laughs> rank one what are you at right now although i didn't hold it for very long i got to rank one but now i'm at rank four sadly <laughs> okay, it happens it happens it's with vaccines coming it's back and stuff you know yeah, Vaxi is insane, dude. Um, so, wh what are some of your goals in OSIV? And would you say have you completed any of your career goals? I wouldn't say I have any, like, generic goals, like, get better at speed or anything, or, like, become better at reading or become tournament player or whatever. Most of my goals right now are just FCing specific maps that I've wanted to FC for, like, years. Would you like to share some of those? Image material would be a really cool one since my speed's starting to finally get there. Mm -hmm. uh, another map is like Miraizu, that one DT map yeah. from like 2015 that Atric did. Mm -hmm. And there are a couple that I have done, like uh, Don Don, you know, the Chino map. Yeah. <laughs> that was like PP record from Angel Sim, but I got that score, so that's like. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, you completed it, dude. That's that's what mm -hmm. matters. What would you say is your favorite thing about the entire game, whether that be the community or the actual game itself? Probably, if I had to pick something, it would be the music, since like it could just be any song that anyone decides to map, or if there isn't one, then you can decide to map it. So it's like. It's introduced me to a lot of new artists and stuff, so. Okay, that's that's pretty interesting. That's probably. I feel like Osu changes like people's music taste. You know. I feel like that just comes from playing Osu, but, um. To that question, I have, an opposite. So, what would you say is your least favorite thing about the game? What. <laughs> What would you I say think is... Discord just died or something, or my internet died. I did it. <laughs> no worries. I, I, <laughs> I asked, think uh, so. What's your least favorite thing about the game? Um. Hmm. Let me think. That's hard. It's hard to like narrow it down to one thing, you know, because there's a lot of things I don't like that much. But. Hmm. It would probably be like the fact that only the people that are like favored by everyone are the ones who like are you know shown off as like being the best players despite like how much work they have put into it or how little work they have put into it right you know because yeah. like i don't want to be like crying about it or anything but like when Flying Tuna and Idki got rank 1, they, everyone was, like, really supportive and stuff, and, like, the Reddit thread and, like, everywhere. And then I looked on mine, and everyone was like, wow, what happened to the ranking system, you know? <laughs> so it's like, I'm sure it's probably just, like, a very small problem, but it, like, is targeted towards me, so, you know? Yeah, I could, I could probably get your feelings. Too. Yeah. I see that. Yeah, I'm, I feel like that's definitely something that's, like, I'd be sad about it too. To be fair, I think anybody would. Mhm. Mm um, despite how you get there, you know. <laughs> yeah. With that, with that being said, what's your opinion on the community as a whole? There are like good and bad parts of the community, you know. Mm -hmm. But like, I think the most heard and like the largest voice in the community is like 
the toxic opinions, really, because everyone just kind of jumps on the bag bandwagon, you know? That's true. I could definitely see that. Like, you know how I'm not really going to try and take a, like, standpoint on it, but, like, with the whole Sotarks thing in them, like, they, they're, like, calling him out for being, like, an awful person just because he makes bad maps on Osu and stuff, and it's like, dude, calm down. <laughs> yeah, some people get a very biased opinion on people depending on how, like, like, if, if you've, if you have one top play that's, like, super farmy, then they're going to be mm-hmm. like, oh, he's a farmer, he doesn't deserve his rank. Yeah, you don't do anything other than farm mm-hmm. because you have a farm top play. That's definitely something that should definitely be worked on by the community, I think. Yeah. Um, What are your opinions, kind of going off of that question, on the current PP system? I think that it really is a big mess, to be honest. <laughs> uh, but there isn't really a way that they can tweak the system for it to be perfect for everyone. So, like, I don't really know what to do about it. I would just, like, I would have, like, left it how it was, like, two years ago and not changed anything. But, like, pre-HD balance? Rebounds. Yeah, because it's just like that, or like, even the PPV1, I don't know how that worked even, because I wasn't even around, but like, or maybe even just left it at the start of PPV2 or something, because mm. changing the system brings a lot of drama, and it displeases and pleases a lot of people in many different ways, so it's like, you're never gonna make everybody happy. That's true. There's always gonna be something to complain about, regardless of how they change it. Mm-hmm. Um, what are your current opinions on the current mapping scene and like the meta that people kind of play? I don't know much about mapping, but like with the whole vertical jumps far map thing, you know, mm-hmm. uh, I don't really see that big of a problem with it other than the fact that the system is flawed because like no matter how like someone decides to map that is like easier and gives more pp they're going to do it based off of how the system is like being abused so right like it kind of goes hand in hand with like the pp system Mm -hmm. yeah i I could definitely see that and i feel like the community has a very strong opinion on that too Mm -hmm. um what type of maps do you feel most comfortable playing Definitely jumps. I'm sure a lot of people would know. Mm -hmm. But I'm starting to get more comfortable with, like, streams. So hopefully I set some nice scores on stream maps soon. As far as stream maps go, um, do you feel more comfortable with space streams or speed streams? Speed. (laughs) Speed streams? Because, like, I don't know if it's just because I can't stream slowly consistently or if it's because of my flow aim but like space streams are so random for me i don't know dude like the way they're placed it's just like i miss sometimes sometimes i hit the entire thing you know oh yeah like your your aim is rng yeah yeah it happens everybody has their own you know preferences whatever they're good at and you know yep um so who are some of your idols and do they give you any inspiration um, like right now. Mm-hmm. Definitely Vaxe, for obvious reasons. <laughs> right. Um, really, that's probably the main one, I guess, because, like, he's the only one that comes right off the top of my head, you know? Right. So he's probably the main one. Um, yeah, that's fair. I think he's a, he's a very, he's a very talented player, and he's, he's got a lot of potential. Yeah. Even more so than he's already gotten to. Playing mm-hmm. playing the game through your entire career, every single moment of playing Osu, what would you say you have learned beyond the basic advice of play more? Hmm, that's a hard one too. Um, what I've always done in like trying to improve at something is like playing something slightly out of my comfort zone in that like skill set like for example speed if i was trying to get faster 
and I could stream like say 240 consistently I would play like 245 or 250 for a couple of days to try and raise my cap mm -hmm. so it's fair. just like push your boundaries a little bit rather than just playing the same stuff over and over again mm -hmm. I feel like that's a mistake that a lot of lower rank players starting out the game tend to make a lot yeah um so what, were, what would you say were some of your favorite memories playing osu hmm um i haven't really been documenting much in terms of like streaming or like youtube videos and stuff in like my early days but like probably breaking into top 100 was like really cool because like i w got like a lot of scores in like a really short amount of time mm -hmm. and then like the climb from like 90 to like rank 50 it was like really quick in comparison to the rest of it so it's just like that was probably like my favorite time playing the game because you were just kind of improving super fast because i was just like going off every day dude <laughs> that's really that's really cool too because it's i mean you never know when you're gonna have like uh, a huge like skill improvement and like 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 that you know yeah so that's actually pretty pretty cool to see um so going with your name <laughs> so everybody knows you as freddie benson so yeah a popular question that people have a lot is why did you go with the name freddie benson and why didn't you change it back to loom Raider? okay so i was in a discord server with a bunch of other osu players and we were messing around with like uh bot google searches for images and stuff and we were scrolling through images on one search and we found an image of freddie benson and like i thought it was really funny so i would spam it like all the time in the discord server and then eventually i changed my like nickname in the discord server to freddie benson and then like the people in the server were just like why don't you change your name on osu to freddie benson and i was like if someone pays for it, I will do it. And someone paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> so how come you didn't change it back? It was like, I didn't want to change back too early because I felt bad someone else spent money on it. And so I didn't want to change back too early. But like, I started getting scores like right after I changed my name and everyone's like, who is Freddie Benson? <laughs> <laughs> so it, it just stuck. And then what about, and I'm sure some people remember this watching the video, you made a, a short name change to Klug. What was the story behind that? It was a little bit of the same thing. I was in a Discord call with some friends. We were playing Puyo Puyo Tetris, and there's a character in that game named Klug, and someone made a joke about Klug, and then the same kind of thing happened again, and then they paid for the name change. But it, like, didn't have the same staying power, I guess, because, like, everyone is like, who is Klug? Oh, it's Freddie Benson. Right, you so know? you're just like, okay, Freddie Benson. Mm-hmm. Would you one day ever consider going back to Boom Raider, or do you think you'll permanently be known as Freddie Benson from now on? I think it's just gonna stay, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's just kind of like... happened now. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's pretty much a big meme at this point. People make conspiracy mm -hmm. theories, you know, about your name. Just like, he is Freddie Benson because Freddie Benson <laughs> made this game. Oh, suit. Yeah, you know. Uh, there, there's a lot of people who've seen that video. It's, it's very interesting yeah. to watch. But um, getting towards the end of the questions here, to everybody watching, what would you recommend for people to improve the game? And especially for people starting out the game and even play people who have been playing the game for a bit longer. As I said before, just go, like, a little outside of your comfort zone, push your limits, like, another thing, never force yourself to keep playing if your, like, hand is in pain, you know, because you don't want to hurt yourself playing a game about clicking circles, that'd be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, that's true. Um, if you could, what would you say to motivate new players starting out the game, and maybe players who have lost motivation in playing the game? Hmm. For new players, probably, I'd say just don't force yourself to play, like I said, because with me, I always had 
like a month or two where I would just like take a break from the game or like a couple weeks where I'd take a break from the game and come back and like want to play everything. Mm -hmm. So it's just like you kind of have to want to play the game, you know, because like I can't force myself to. I don't know if that's just me, but. Right. That makes sense. And for older players, I guess, try new maps, like try new mapping styles. Try playing like tech maps or something if you don't play tech maps. If you only play like hard rock and stuff, try some DT, you know? Right. See what else the game has to offer. Like even learn flashlight. Flashlight's kind of fun. <laughs> that's true, that's true. It's, it's been kinda kinda making a comeback recently, I think. Yeah. So it's pretty cool to see like players like FG Sky and Rip FC who actually yeah. just got a video uploaded by the time that you guys are seeing this. So you guys should go check that out right after this video if you haven't already but um so yeah with that being said that was all of the questions we have for today is there anything you'd like to say to the community or anybody watching this video hmm subscribe with twitch prime <laughs> that's the way to do it <laughs> yeah man all right man well it's been a great time interviewing you i hope you uh, have a great day and to everybody watching um on to the outro well, that's all we have for today's video. Thanks to everyone for watching, and I'd like to give the usual thanks to Hydra and Novik for helping me out with the series, and specifically Hydra for editing today's video. Also, a humongous thanks to Freddie Benson for giving us an opportunity to feature him on the series. If you would like to see more from us, make sure to follow our Twitter and join our Discord in the description. Also, make sure to go check out Freddie Benson on his socials, also linked in the description. That's it for now guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all soon.